Hey everybody, I'm Erin Carroll. I am 24 years old. I live in New York City and I work as a cam model. Today I'm going to answer some questions. The first question is, where are you originally from and what was it like there? I was born in California, but then I moved to West Virginia when I was five and then Georgia when I was six and then when I was nine we moved to Tennessee. I stayed in Tennessee till I was 19, so I consider myself to be from Tennessee. Where I grew up, it was beautiful. It was rural. It was all farmland. My high school had a tractor day where students could drive their tractors to school and show them off. That's a real, real thing. All right. <laughs> the next question is, what brought you to New York City? gotta be some crazy story right well fucking bet your ass there is well I didn't move straight from Tennessee to here I tried to go to college and it didn't work <laughs> so I I moved to Southern California for a year and a half and then I moved to Washington State for about a year and a half and then I lived in Portland Oregon for about a year and a half, and I thought I was gonna live there for a long time. Unfortunately, the person that I was dating and living with had really bad addiction and mental health problems, and uh, he assaulted me. So I had to get out of that situation, and I didn't really have anywhere to go. So I was reaching out online, and a cam girl promoter that I had had some wonderful experiences with in the past. He had been supportive of me and I thought that he was a pretty good dude. He said that he had an apartment in New York City that he only used on the weekends and I could stay there rent free for a little while until I got back on my feet. Guess what? It wasn't real. But I had already told everybody that I was moving to New York City. And I was not about to be embarrassed, so I did not give up. <laughs> and a roommate kind of fell into my lap. Um, this really awesome cam model named Haunter tagged Forrest Bonnie and, uh, and I in the same post, and the rest is history. <laughs> what are the top three motivations that led you to choose your alternative lifestyle? I was poor and I was tired of working at a place that treated me like shit. And I was already jerking off all the time and I found out I could get paid for it. And that kind of goes well into the next question. How are you so confident in your nudity? I would say that I got that from my mom. She just never attached any shame to nudity. Uh, we would take showers together when I was really little and we'd run out of the shower, get on the bed and jump up and down and we'd go, we're naked, we're naked, we're naked. And it was really fun. I mean, she taught me the societal rules regarding nudity, but she also told me that when I was an adult, I would get to decide if I wanted to celebrate my body through modesty or through exhibitionism. And I love that she gave me that choice and she taught me that neither one of them is wrong. It just depends on what makes me comfortable. I fucking love being naked. <laughs> the next one says, how has camming changed your life? I would say that the biggest difference between my life as a cam model and working a day job is I'm a lot mentally healthier now. And I think that that is mostly because I am my own boss. I go to bed whenever I'm tired. I wake up whenever I'm done sleeping. <laughs> I eat when I need to eat. This community has been so supportive. I feel like everybody fucking gets it, you know? Being a person is hard. 
And everybody's so patient. Oh, no. I accidentally answered part of this one, but I'll answer it better. So the question is, you seem to be very much aware of the mental health of others and show concern for their mental well-being. Do you have any personal experiences with mental health issues? I've had anxiety problems my entire life. I remember going back all the way to elementary school. And in high school, it was a lot of crying. I would cry in class every single day and I got put on antidepressants they helped for a little while uh, I was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder and it's not even a, a diagnosis anymore now they tell me that I'm bipolar um, whatever you want to call it everything is a big deal to my brain basically my fight or flight is always on and recently I have found a lot of coping mechanisms that work for me and I have a job that's conducive to taking care of myself and I have a lot of really wonderful supportive people online and in real life. Um, it's not nearly as much of a problem as it has been in the past, but I definitely still struggle and I still sympathize with people that are struggling. The best advice that I could give anybody is that happiness is a skill. You don't find it, you develop it. It's something that you practice, the same as learning an instrument or a language. I, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Last question is, what are your greatest hopes and dreams for the future and fears as well? Let's do fears first so we can end on a positive note. What are my greatest fears for the future? I don't really like to think in those terms. I guess right now my greatest fear would be that I have to get a day job again. Uh, it doesn't seem like that's the case, but it's something that I worry about. My greatest hopes and dreams for the future, I just want to be a mom. I just want to be a mom and I want to make really awesome people that can do good things in the world. Why is this making me cry so much? <laughs> I'm excited. And that was an AMA with Erin Carroll. I think ending it crying is the most honest way that I could have ended it. Jesus Christ.